Hello my loves! So it is a Friday night. I wanted to just do a new intro to this video because I don't like the intro that you guys are going to see. I'm like a little bit crusty looking. Um, it was like when I first moved in so I'm like wearing the same J. Cole shirt that I always wear and I just look busted. I mean I look busted right now too. Look at me. This is like after work. I'm kind of sweaty. It's kind of gross but it's cool. Um, I wanted to make a new intro just to like not be so crusty. I don't know. I probably still look crusty but it's fine. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys, well in this video, I already did all this stuff, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can decorate your room for super cheap and how you can create some of your own DIY furniture for your room, such as a little nightstand that I created myself and the little um, stool that I made. So if you guys want to see how to decorate your room from stuff from the dollar store and learn how to DIY your own furniture, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So here is what it looks like when you walk into my room right now. It is pretty empty. We built that shoe rack this weekend. It's just like a little plastic one that I got from Ross for like seven bucks. But it should hold up to 30 shoes, they say. I don't think it's gonna hold that many, but it's got that. I hear a murderer in the house. Maybe not. Okay, anyways, coming back this way. Here I plan on putting like my little storage shelf that I had and then putting the TV on top of that. I want to put the storage shelf here, put the TV on top, probably put a plant over there. Um, here I'm just going to keep the trash can because why not? If you come in here, I have some closet space, some shelves up here. I'll probably have to buy like a little step stool so I can get up there. And then it's got two rows for clothes there. And then, <laughs> oof. On the other side, it's got some more shelving. One here. Probably going to buy another one to put here so that I can have four separate little closet shelves. Then I got this. I don't know how I feel about it though. I might not keep it because it's kind of squishy. I want one that's like sturdy. But anyways. Then over here, I actually want to put this mirror on the wall so I hang it up so I can see my outfits and stuff like that. But I actually got this mirror, which is super, super cute, from Home Goods, and it was only 50 bucks. And it's a pretty big mirror, like, if you see it, it's pretty big. Much bigger than the little over the door one I've been using my whole life. And then over here is obviously where I want to put my bed, but right now, Legit just on an air mattress and like a little memory foam thing. I just got my new sham, not sham, day, what is it called? Dubai, there you go, cover. Came with two pillowcases, so I got this. And then I bought these little like marble pillowcases off of Amazon. So these are kind of cute. That would be cute to do like an all white look with just like two marble pillows even in the front and the back. I don't really know how I want it yet but we'll see and then maybe throw like a cute little sham over this. I'm also thinking of putting a little storage ottoman here. So my bed has two drawers that come out here that I can put clothes in but I'm definitely going to need more storage space. I'm thinking something there but anyways just wanted to show you guys what the room looks like with nothing in it. Almost nothing anyway. Hello my loves! So today I am just playing around. I know the lighting is pretty terrible. It's because it's nighttime. I have my light on. But I wanted to show you guys something that you can do that's super cheap. It's easy decor and like I said, it's cheap. It doesn't cost like anything. So I found these super cute frames from the dollar store. They actually look like this, okay? So they're just cute little frames that you can get with different kinds of leaf designs on them. I got this one and I got two of the big leaf. I forget what these are called but I got two of those and the one that's different that just has like the two leaves. So I kind of want to put them up on my wall like this but I figured it would be really cute to just throw a little quote in there. So this one just says positivity. This one says be happy. 
And then I did this one that says create the things you wish existed. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can very easily take something super inexpensive and make it look super cute. So let's do this. What you're going to do is you're going to take your quote. Um, you can do any kind of quote that you want as long as you make sure that it fits in the frame. So I messed up because I thought these were 4 by 6 no, I thought these were 3 by 5s and they are actually 4 by 4 so they're more of like a square but we can still make this work. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out the backing which when you do that it takes out like all of the mirror and the paper. I'm going to take the little wood piece that comes in the back of the frame and use that kind of as your marker. So we are basically just covering that with the square and you want to make sure that it's about as even as you can get it. This one I kind of went a little bit too off to the left but it's fine. I'm not huge on like making it perfect so just go ahead and do that and then we're going to literally just trace around the outside. And it looks like it just barely fit, if you guys can see that. So now, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this out. Might have been a little blurry, I'm sorry if it was blurry, guys. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the glass is clean. Unfortunately that got super dirty and I don't know how but that's about as clean as we're gonna get it so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there and then you put your picture obviously face side down. Take the back of this guy, place it in there. So this I might actually reprint um, and do it a little bit smaller, more of the 4x4 just because I don't really like how squished it is because you can't read it very well, but that's what it looks like. That's pretty much how it's going to look and my plan is to put it up on the wall, like right here above my little shoe rack. So, we'll see how that looks. That is pretty much how you make really cute, cheap decor. I can't wait to show you guys like everything that I've done. Um, obviously, I want to wait until it's like more put together. It's, it's getting there. It's almost where I want it, but it's not quite exactly how it is, like how I want it. So that's why I haven't showed it to you guys yet. But um, I do want to show you guys another DIY that I'm gonna do because I want to put a little. Um, nightstand here so I could put my cute little lamp on it and I can have a place to put my phone. I mean even though I have the windowsill I think it will still be nice to have a little end table. So I'm actually going to make that myself and I will show you guys the DIY on that. Um, but yeah it's pretty late so I'm going to get ready for bed but I will see you guys in my how to make a nightstand part of this video. I'm probably just going to do this all one big video. Okay guys, so I have another DIY project that I want to try to accomplish. Um, if you guys have seen these hairpin legs before, they're super, super cute. I bought them on Amazon for like $19 for a pack of four that are 16 inches. Hopefully you guys can see that. And so the plan is, I also bought a cube that I want to build and make into a nightstand. So I got a cube to put the hairpin legs on and then... I also got this chair on the Facebook Marketplace for literally 18 bucks. It goes really well with the rug that I have in my, I'm going to take this off. I have makeup coming off everywhere. This is like the whole day's worth, okay? I got this on the Facebook Marketplace for 18 bucks, and I don't really care for the legs that it comes with. I'm hoping that I can somehow fit these hairpin ones onto this so it could be even cuter and it can match with my nightstand but we're gonna test it out so the first thing I have to do is take off the bottom of this 
Also, if you guys don't have one of these, you totally need to get one. I got this from Home Depot for like 20 bucks, but it has saved me so much. So I'm going to put it in reverse and just get these screws out again. It just makes everything so much faster because you don't have to sit here like using a screwdriver to get it out. Okay, so I have the legs off now. This is just what it looks like. You can honestly use this base for like a little end table or something, or you could make another stool out of it. But even if you just bought like a nice circular piece of glass to put in here, this could be a really cute little glass end table. But the goal is now to figure out how I want the legs to go. I don't really know how these things are supposed to go. I feel like just two should do the trick, but we'll see if I can. Oh my god. Ow. We'll see if two will suffice. I might. Oh my god. These are really heavy and strong, just for your guys' FYI. I might do four. I don't really know yet. But, alright. I'm just gonna die a little inside. It's fine. God, that hurt. Okay. So here are the two. I think I'm just gonna try it right here and see what happens. If anything, we can always take it apart. So, make sure that that's good. So, the screws that came with it and the screws that were in the original one, this works really well, but it doesn't hold the pin. This is a shitty ass. Thing. So I actually have these cement board screws. I bought these ones to stick my mirror on the wall because we think it's cement board. So I'm just going to use these guys because they're sharp, they're sturdy, and they actually go through. All right, back to our regular scheduled program. I found it's easiest if you take the little guy it came with, then take this guy. Sturdy, it's on. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Hopefully those are pretty even. So I just put the two on. They come with these little guys to help them stand better. So let's see if two will suffice. It might not be enough because I have to think about, oh, yeah, that's I'm a dumbass. Now we're gonna do the other ones. moment of truth. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's see. The real test is if I'm going to be able to sit on it and it's not going to fall over. Oh. So we finished the stool. Now I'm going to build the box. Now the crappy thing is they only had this green color. It was only $14, but it was this green and white. So we're actually going to spray paint this bad boy, but I want to get it built first and then I'll spray paint it because it's already dark, so I'll spray paint tomorrow after work. But let's see what we got in here. So like I said, I ordered this bad boy off Amazon. It actually had really good reviews, um, so we'll see how sturdy it is.
So this is the finished box. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint this tomorrow. Guys, seriously, look at this. For 15 bucks, this is huge. It's such a big box. I'm gonna put something cute inside here and then use it as a nightstand. So I'll put like my lamp on top of here, have a place to put my cell phone, but I love it. And it's gonna go on top of these kind of legs. Um, I have to order some more of them, but this is pretty much what it will look like minus this, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna put some of these legs on this guy and then I'll have a little nightstand. So now, the green cube that I showed you guys, we're going to spray paint. Well, actually, Jonathan's going to spray paint because, as you can see, I'm a man. that's it. <laughs> oh, men do it better. <laughs> yeah, that actually looks good. I can't wait. Very good. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Good looking. So I came out and it was dry, but it looked like, you can still kind of see it, it dripped. So I tried to do another coat to even it out, but I don't think it's really going to help. We'll see. But, I mean, for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, once it's dry, we'll be able to know. And I tried to use whatever was left of the paint to do the back. So you can tell it ran out because there's still a lot of parts that are still not covered. But, I mean, I think it'll be fine. No one's going to look that close to it, so... We're going to let that dry. I think by the end of the day, I'll be able to put the legs on it so that we can see what the whole nightstand's going to look like. I'm a little busted this morning, all right? This one woke me up early. It's a Saturday. I wanted to sleep in a little bit. Um, so I'll probably try to go back to bed. But, yeah, at least that guy's almost done. So can't wait to show you guys my whole room. Okay, so I wanted to just show you guys pretty much how the nightstand ended up. I want to do a whole entire room tour for you guys, but I still have a few things I want to get. Like, I want to get some new pillows for my bed, maybe some, like, cute decorations to put up there. But at least I will show you guys this part. So this is how it turned out. Here is the legs. They look super cute. I love it. And then I just turned it into a little space for me to keep my books. Um, I kind of want to get, so I have, sorry guys, everything's really dusty. I have these little lights. I kind of want to get some to put in there because I think that would be really cute. Um, you can see, I'll show you guys my mistakes. <laughs> so excuse the fact that it's a little dusty, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys. I used screws that were a little bit too long. Okay, because all I had was my concrete board or whatever it's called, screws. So definitely use thinner screws or smaller screws, sorry, that you can kind of like make sure they're not going through. And I wish I would have used a primer because anytime I move my little lamp around, it kind of scratches off the paint. So just if you guys decide to do this on your own, Make sure that you get screws that will not go through the wood and also make sure that if you're going to paint it, you paint it with something that has either a no chip to it or you have a primer before you paint. But I just use this as a little space to keep my books plus it kind of hides the fact that I screwed up. Um, so I have Expectation Hangover from Christine Hassler. This is like one of those prompts where you just kind of write about your life. I bought one for me and Cody and we just used this. We like switch off kind of. We haven't really done it yet. But you basically write in it and then we're supposed to like give each other the books and then read it and then write back and kind of go back and forth. I just thought that was like a really cute idea. And then Brittany just got me this for my birthday. This is the April Green Bloom for Yourself. I'm super excited to look at these. I don't know why I'm so freaking out of breath, but I am. I'm going to take off my glasses. I always hate having my glasses on. Oh, but then I just look crusty. Okay, those are coming back on. Anyways, um, I post a lot of April Green on Instagram, and so that's kind of like my favorite person right now as far as like all the cute sayings or inspirational little sayings or whatever so my sister got me the bloom for yourself version 2 I'm really excited to read them because I post them a lot if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know that uh, but yeah that's pretty much it I just wanted to kind of finish off the video with showing you guys the finished products oh and then here's the stool 
excuse my boots that I wore today. Okay, here's the stool. So it's those same legs. And I just have that there in front of my mirror so that I can sit here and do my makeup in the morning. I'm kind of thinking of putting a little shelf here just to like hold the stuff that I'm using. We'll see how that goes. But like I said, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the finished product looked like and kind of give you guys a little glimpse of how cute it looks in the room. Uh, when I finally get a chance to like do my entire room, I can't wait to show you guys. I love it. I got some new stuff. Like, okay, I'm going to do a little cheat here for you guys. I actually got this new jewelry holder which I have been wanting a jewelry holder for so long and I could not find one that I thought was cute and I saw this at Goodwill for like five bucks and it holds all my necklaces all my earrings all my watches I have a new watch that I got for my birthday from my best friend so cute so I'll eventually make that fit my wrist and put it on this little holder too but yeah I don't want to show you guys everything because I want to show you guys the whole entire room tour once it's done but that is pretty much how my stuff turned out thank you guys so much for watching my DIY if you guys enjoyed this please give it a huge thumbs up I say this in every video but it really does mean the world to me but it also helps YouTube show that I am still somewhat relevant in this world that my videos should kind of be broadcasted out there for people to see I just wanted to show you guys that and again like I love doing DIYs so I felt like this was like the perfect opportunity to kind of like spruce up my new room and uh, yeah I will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.